What's going on YouTube? Geosim right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for Kawabunga Lite on Windows. More progress is being made. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare for Me Key, which allows you to remove iCloud activation on devices for which you can't remember your Apple ID and password and stuff like that. You can use this on iPhone 10, 8 and older. It doesn't support the newer devices, but it supports iOS 15 and 16. There is a free trial available for this, which supports Windows and Mac OS. So you can definitely check it out in the link below. You can grab it on Tenorshare.com and to use it you can simply plug in the lock device, you press start removing here and check out the disclaimer. An important thing is that this only supports A7 through A11 devices and also you cannot place any calls, SMS messages or use the SIM card after the bypass, so you should keep that in mind. So I'm gonna press next in here, the device will be put in recovery mode and then we're going to have to put the device in DFU mode by following the guide over here. Once the device is in DFU mode it says in here removing activation lock, please wait and this will take a few minutes and once that is complete it says in here remove the activation successfully and now you can see the device is available in here we press get started and that's it you can use the device normally with no problems so definitely check the program out in the link below all right so just a couple of hours ago the developer behind Kawabanga and Kawabanga Lite announced this quote icon theming on Windows fully works it's a little slow to apply but at least it works expect a new patreon beta soon so for those of you who are unaware Kawabanga Lite is basically a spin-off of Kawabanga, which was based on Mac Dirty Cow exploit, and of course it allowed you to install themes and some tweaks without a jailbreak, and this worked up to 16.1.2. Now Kawabanga Lite works basically on iOS 15.0 up to iOS 17 beta, so it works on everything. And it doesn't matter what kind of device you have, it works on newer devices, it works on older devices, and it provides a pretty big range of tweaks considering the fact that it's not a jailbreak, and it doesn't use any jailbreak exploits behind it. You can do status bar modification, you can change your carrier name, you can change the time text, you can change the battery display details, you can install themes and customize various springboard animation stuff and whatever. There's a lot you can do with Kawabanga Lite, it basically looks like this, once you open it, you connect your device and you can explore for themes and these themes actually look pretty nice on the device and there are a couple of them in here. You can rearrange the control center and select one to basically download and install it on your device and it will look like that. You can do icon theming, you can do status bar mode modifications over here, there are the control center modifications, there are the springboard options you can enable and you can change the UI animation speed and stuff like that and then you apply your tweaks. It's actually quite useful and pretty easy to use but for now it's only available here on Mac OS, for Mac OS 11 and for Mac OS 12 to 13. Well the developer was hard at work and they're porting it for Windows and it looks like they're finally making progress towards making it available for Windows, at least the CLI version which is the command line version and for now now apparently the theming started to work and a while ago they announced this, most tweaks now work on Windows CLI, only missing icon theming, CC customization and status bar. So now they also got icon theming as well on Windows which is great and apparently they made this available on Patreon. Now do keep in mind that it's not required to be a patron for Kawabanga if you want to use Kawabanga, the application is completely free and open source but the newest features while it's in development come first to the patrons, so if you want to you can join the Patreon for Kawabanga and get access to the latest private beta build. However, if you don't want to do that, you can just wait for the stable releases. You can see they're pretty common. Last week was the last releases, two weeks ago and stuff like that, three weeks ago. So we do get quite a lot of releases. So if you don't want to become a patron, you don't have to. So yes, this is not like Kawabanga, which was based on a kernel exploit, although a little bit weak. This one is not based on an exploit at all, although it still can install themes and some tweaks and stuff like that, which in my opinion is actually quite great. All I have to to do is basically download the theme that you want and it will be available on icon theming over here. You enable the theming, you select it and you can even hide the app labels and stuff like that and then press apply and apply the tweaks over here. It's as simple as that. So it's a great application especially since it doesn't use any exploit at all. It's just a very clever use of backups and stuff like that so it's a pretty interesting application and yes it looks like it's finally coming for Windows because as you can see theming now works and other tweaks work as well. There might still be things left but at the time I'm making this video there might already be a version available in private beta on Patreon if you're using Windows. So yeah, definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.